Hey guys, and welcome to Life with Mayor. Today I have a good food grocery box. If you guys remember a couple videos back, I did a HelloFresh one, and I'll show you guys right here what that one looks like, and I'll send you the link as well. And what I'm gonna be doing today, actually in this video, is comparing the good food grocery box with the HelloFresh grocery box. So this one I got, guys. Get this, listen carefully. For free. For free. I got it for free, you got it. So a while back, I wanna say almost a year ago, I put in like a trial box and I think it was like a $10 trial fee as well. And I tried it out and I loved it and it was fantastic. Actually, they gave me a button, let me find that for you. So haha, here's the proof that I had it before. So I had this button or this magnet here that I have on the fridge. So I did try it out before and I liked it. However, I got an email yesterday and it said that I had a box coming to my door the next day. And I was appalled. I called them on the phone right away and I'm like, listen, I did not reinstate my subscriptions since I did already do grocery shopping. I have meals already planned, so I would have had way too much food. So I called them and they said, we're sorry, you know, it was our mistake. And they told me that I can keep this for free. And if I didn't want it, I could give it away. So I said, might as well keep it. So now I have, I believe there's four meals in here full of delicious food. So keep watching to see what I got. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what's inside here. So it's pretty similar to the HelloFresh when you're first opening. So this is, I guess, just a coupon. One free box up to $80. Hey, I got another coupon, guys. All right, so this one says it's a good flyer. Uh, I guess it just has some tips and tricks on uh, what to make and how to make some stuff. So here's the meals that we're getting. All right, I'm not gonna show you guys just yet. All right, so insulated box as well, um, and it has the bags individually wrapped. So the HelloFresh bags or the different meals were in brown bags, if you guys remember. And these ones are actually in plastic bags. So I'll pull out the first one right here. So this is one here. So it does look a little bit different. It still looks really neatly packaged. Looks like everything is in here. Looks really great. So this one here is the ground pork yaki udon. So if you guys know me, I'm not a big pork fan, but I mean, the kids will love this and Ramil will most likely love it. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it says it's gonna look like. Let me just look through the cards here. So they also have recipe cards as well. Just exactly the same as HelloFresh, a little bit larger. And this one actually says it only takes 20 minutes. The HelloFresh meals all took 35 minutes. So this one's only 20, so that's great. So when I come home from work, I won't have that much time to do some cooking. It doesn't say the, um, the prep time though. So I'll have to look into that and see. And then it has everything nicely labeled and shows you exactly step-by-step step how to make that. So this is meal number one. Right, so the next meal that I have here is Haddock Amandine over Lemon Infused Bulgur. All right, so this one has all the ingredients inside as well. Everything's all neatly labeled inside this bag. So I really like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's packaged in a brown bag or packaged in um, a clear plastic bag like this. So this one, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the Haddock Amandine over Lemon Infused Bulgur. So it looks really nice, really healthy and delicious. And here's the menu card and the recipe card for this as well. Perfect. All right. Moving on to the third meal. So this one actually has four meals, whereas the family box for the HelloFresh only had three. So there's a difference right there as well. So this is the third meal. This is a smoky Mexican style chicken skillet. So we love Mexican food here, or at least I know myself and the kids do. Um, so here's everything that we need. I see a big bag of cheese. Luciano's gonna go crazy over that because that boy loves cheese. Got some rice, tomato, cilantro. So I'll show you what this one's gonna look like. So that looks really good, really simple, really delicious, really easy. And this one also says 25 minutes to cook. So the serving size is also four, which is very similar to HelloFresh. It says four servings and Luciano's really small, so he's gonna be able to share with us. And here's the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make everything. And the last but not least meal that we have here. Oh, this one's a heavy one. Oh my God. This is a mushroom lentil hachis parmentier. 
All right, so definitely some exotic food going on here. Never heard of this. And it has some sort of weird vegetable going on over here and it's poking through the bag there, if you guys can see that. So if you guys know what vegetable this is or I have no idea what it is, just make sure you comment down below and let me know because I have no idea what that is unless I read the recipe card and it tells me. So some sort of beans, potato and lettuce. I have no idea. Let's take a look and see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so mushroom lentil hachi parmentier. So it kind of looks like a shepherd's pie, I'd say. So this is what it looks like and the step-by-step -step instructions there as well. All right, at the bottom, just like the HelloFresh box, it has all of our meat. So the first one here we have is the pork. So the lean ground pork. This one will be for the udon noodles. We have the chicken thighs. All right, so HelloFresh only from what I've seen so far only gives chicken breasts. So these are chicken thighs. So ready for me, this is something that I'm not loving too much. I love the breasts. I know they are a little bit more expensive. However, I love the white meat, even though a lot of people like the dark meat. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys team white or team dark? Let me know. Another meat item that we have here is another pack of chicken thighs. So there we have cheaper quality of meat as well inside this box. So I guess that's all we're getting in terms of chicken is chicken thighs. And the last but not least item that we have here is the haddock. And the haddock is all right here for us. Wild caught haddock. So there are four pieces. I mean, they look like pretty good pieces here. Just like the HelloFresh, this good food box also has ice inside here. And that's to keep the food fresh. I had it delivered here this morning. I think it was about 10 a.m. And it's now in the evening. It's about 7.30 at night. And everything is still frozen. And everything is still nice and fresh. So that's a plus, definitely. Okay, guys. So each night I make the meals. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of me cooking them. I'm going to be showing you the difference between what it looks like in the recipe card as well as it looks how it looks when I cook it. And I'm going to be giving you guys my overall overview of whether I like the food or not and which was my best. And then at the end, I'll finally tell you guys whether I liked HelloFresh or the Good Food Grocery Box better. So keep watching to see all of the results. <laughs> I'm here making the first meal from the good food box, the ground pork yaki udon. So I'm just noticing here that it is all in plastic bags and it's not labeled as nicely as HelloFresh. So I want to say that that's a big comparison. I do like how the HelloFresh was more labeled a little bit more clearly, whereas this one has the noodles, but there's nothing written on here. However, I do know that it is the noodles. And this one here says shredded Napa cabbage. I mean, it's kind of fading off there. So... I mean, it's not bad. It's still labeled like this one's labeled. However, this is not labeled. Like, how would you know what kind of sauce that is? And this one just says spice blend. So you don't even know what kind of spices are in there as well. So I'm not too crazy about not knowing what that so is. So this recipe here, as you can see, it's calling for sh scallions. So it says to separate the green from the white. However, I was giving shallots instead. So it is a little bit misleading in a sense that it sent the wrong thing. Maybe they didn't have it in stock, I'm not sure. But maybe they should have written something here to add scallions or shallots. Switch to a wok because there was way too many ingredients in that small frying pan that I had. So now it has a lot more space for me to saute everything. I'm gonna let you know what we thought about the first dish was the uh, which was the pork udon yaki noodles um, basically as you guys know already I told you I'm not a big fan of pork I do want to say that the noodles however I they were very misleading I thought that they wouldn't taste good however we really like the texture of them they were a round thick noodle which I'm not used to I'm used to those thinner uh, thinner chow mein noodles so the noodles were really tasty really flavorful I did like all the different sauces and how it tasted however the pork taste within the noodles was just throwing off the whole complete dish so the kids did eat it however they only liked the noodles and they didn't like pretty much everything else in that meal so that meal I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down <laughs> So 
now this meal that I prepared is basically like a lentil shepherd's pie. So there was supposed to be mushrooms within the meal mixed in with the lentils. However, they went bad. I let them sit in the fridge too long. So it just ended up being the lentils. And for this one, I found the celery root taste was very, very strong. And that mixed with the mashed potatoes just overpowered the potatoes. And it just tasted like pure celery and lentils. And the children did not like this dish at all. It was completely too much salt, high in sodium, all the soy sauce and all the seasoning, whatever the seasoning blend is. I didn't even know what the seasoning blend was. Um, the kids didn't enjoy that at all. So I ended up eating most of that and they wouldn't even touch it. He is asking for scallions, as you guys can see right here. And it even shows a picture of the green part as well as the white part. However, all we were given were shallots. So I'm not sure if it's a little bit confused about the recipe, but it's definitely giving the wrong type of onion. Hey guys, so here's a smoky Mexican style chicken skillet. This is what it looks like here on the recipe card. And this is what my plate looks like. So I'm gonna be trying this out now and see. Like I said, however, this is the chicken thighs and I'm not a big fan of chicken thighs. I do like the white meat a lot better and I know it is a lot more expensive. So we'll see how this one tastes. So for this chicken skillet dish, the kids said they really liked it. Me, on the other hand, I didn't like it. I ended up giving Romeo most of my portion. Like I've mentioned before to you guys, I'm not a big fan of dark meat, especially the thighs. It just didn't have a good feel. I felt like if it had the chicken breast, it would have been a lot leaner. It would have been a, less, a lot more flavorful and it would have made a better dish. Luciano only ate the, um, the cheese, a little bit of the cheese that you sprinkle on top of the skillet. So definitely that meal is a thumbs down for me as well. I did not like it, even though the kids did. And like I said, in comparison to HelloFresh, HelloFresh always has the white meat, which really is more expensive. But for me, in my books, I feel like it's better quality meat. So the recipe here calls for green beans. However, they sent these yellow wax beans. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat for good food is that the recipe card says one thing. However, they're sending like a substitute instead of what's actually on the recipe card. So this is what the Haddock Amandine over lemon infused bulgur is supposed to look like. And this is what my plate looks like right here. So it looks pretty similar besides the beans being a different color. So the last meal that I made was the haddock and this one receives two thumbs up from everybody. We all really enjoyed it. The haddock was really flavorful and I was really skeptical at first because it had almonds and some other flavors that I wasn't quite used to. For example, we had to glaze the green beans or the yellow beans with honey, which we have never done that before, but it actually gave it a nice sweet taste and it balanced out nicely with the vinegar. So that was really flavorful. The fish was, I thought at first, too small of a portion, but it actually ended up being a lot. And it was just enough for all of us. And yeah, so that was our most favorite meal of the whole entire Good Food Box. So now comparing the Good Food Box to the HelloFresh Box, I definitely will say that the HelloFresh Box was way better than the Good Food. The Good Food Box, I found their meals to be a little bit too try hard. Like they tried to make the meals so exotic, so different, like ethnicity and oriental and international that it just, it, it didn't work right. Like most of the meals we didn't really enjoy. Like I said, we liked maybe one and a half to two meals out of the four meals. Whereas the HelloFresh meals, we liked all of the meals that we got. So another comparison between the two, like mentioned before, the HelloFresh comes in all brown bags, whereas the Good Food ones all come in plastic see-through bags. And the HelloFresh is all clearly nicely labeled, whereas the Good Food was not exactly labeled. And sometimes they had items that were just labeled spice blend or demi glaze sauce or like we didn't even know what some of the items were so i don't really like that fact not knowing what's going inside your meals so that's another reason why i like HelloFresh. another reason i like HelloFresh is because they're giving what seems to be better quality meat in terms of the chicken breast i prefer that over the thighs and it is better quality compared to the thighs thighs are definitely much more cheaper um the packaging i mean everything was pretty much similar in that sense but I mean, overall, the HelloFresh box is way better. In terms of pricing, I believe it's about the same. I'm gonna actually check that out right now and show you guys the pricing.
Okay guys, so if you see the price wise there, the good food box is actually quite similar um, in price. However, with the four meals, it's equivalent to three meals of HelloFresh. So HelloFresh is a little bit more expensive and I guess, I mean, I've listed a couple reasons why HelloFresh is a little bit better in quality. Um, so definitely if you would like to try out one of these meal boxes, I recommend HelloFresh because of the freshness, because of the quality of the food that you're given, because of the meal selection is really tasty and flavorful, and also because you know exactly what's going inside of your meal. Um, if you want to go for something a little bit cheaper, on the other hand, I would definitely go with the Good Food box because it is a little bit cheaper. However, you're not getting as good quality as the HelloFresh box. Oh yes, another thing that I didn't mention about Good Food is that on the menu cards it was saying one thing however we were getting something different for example it was saying scallions and it was saying to separate the green and white scallions however we were getting shallots another thing it was telling us we had green beans meanwhile they gave us yellow beans so everything was a little bit misleading in the sense of that they didn't give the proper ingredients all right guys so that's the end of my video i hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll take into consideration when you choose your next grocery box but if you liked it please make sure you give a big 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 thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and put your notifications on so you'll know when I make a next video. Take care guys.